Dharav Khiradia. I am Neuro and Vascular Intervention Radiologist. In today's video, we are going to see about brain aneurysm and also non-surgical treatment of brain aneurysm that is coiling. But first see what is a brain aneurysm. Aneurysm is nothing but a bulge or ballooning of blood vessel inside your brain. So this is normal blood vessel. Because of some risk factor, bulge can develop at a blood vessel inside your brain. Risk factors include old age, female gender, ladies, hypertension or increased blood pressure, smoking, some genetic factors, family history, hereditary factors. These are the certain risk factors for development of aneurysm. Now this aneurysm can increase in size and it may burst it can cause bleeding inside your brain, which is known as a brain hemorrhage or subarachnoid hemorrhage. Now this bleeding will stop temporarily, but again it can burst and it can cause re-bleeding. This re-bleeding is very dangerous. It can be life threatening also. What are the symptoms of brain aneurysm? So once bleeding happens, patient may develop severe headache, which is typically known as a worst headache of one's life. Patient may develop vomiting, sleepiness, unconsciousness. If aneurysm is very large, it can cause pressure effect in surrounding brain structure. It can cause now pulses, like drooping of your eyelids. So how do you know one has an aneurysm? We have to do either CT scan or MRI. They can detect brain hemorrhage. And once we see such kind of brain hemorrhage, next step is to do CT angiography or MRI angiography. So it will pick up pulse inside your blood vessel. Treatment aim is to prevent rebreeding from aneurysm. This is the single most important thing in treatment of the brain aneurysm because rebreeding can be life threatening. Two broad category of treatment options are one is open surgery, which is clipping, second is a coiling or is an angiographic technique. Clipping open surgery, when neurosurgeon opens the skull, he or she will reach out to the aneurysm, identify the aneurysm, and he will apply a metal clip at the neck of the aneurysm shown in the cartoon, thus prevent rebleeding. Second option is uh, coiling, which is angiographic pinhole technique. Neuro interventionist will uh, insert a small tube in the femoral artery generally and uh, the small tube is taken all the way to your brain blood vessel. Angiographically aneurysm is identified and small platinum coils are inserted inside the aneurysm. It is tightly packed and finally the coils are detached and the tube is taken out. Coils will remain inside the aneurysm permanently, so it will prevent re bleeding. Sometimes aneurysm can be wide neck, so the coils may not stay inside the aneurysm, it will come into the normal blood vessel. So, in order to prevent that, sometimes we have to insert stent inside the normal vessel to support the coil. This is known as a stent assisted coiling. This procedure is done in the cath lab under X ray guidance. Let's look at this case study. So, this is a middle aged lady presented with a severe headache. Urgent CT scan was done, it showed brain hemorrhage. And CT angiography was done, which showed aneurysm involving one of the blood vessels. So this was the cause of bleeding. Now we need to close this aneurysm. There is no medicine to close this aneurysm. Either clipping or coiling needs to be done. Angiographic picture, arrow showed aneurysm. Small tube inserted inside the aneurysm as shown in the arrow. Following which through this tube, coils were inserted. This is the before and after picture. So that's how coil looks on the X-ray angiographic image. Now 
all kind of aneurysm can be treated with the coiling we have several devices available to treat all different kind of aneurysms is coiling better option than the surgery answer is yes because it allows faster recovery its effectiveness is it is shown in multiple clinical trials in certain aneurysms are very difficult to treat by the open surgery so those aneurysms are better treated with the coiling many of these patients are elderly covid condition they are at risk of anesthesia open surgery many of these patients are unconscious poor grade patient so all those patient coiling is much better option because it's minimally invasive and also is a good option for aneurysm which has not bled thank you